Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel. And we're going to answer a few questions about uh, Chrome OS Flex because a lot of you have been asking questions about this. Um, so Chrome OS Flex is the latest operating system, Chrome-based operating system that um, Google wants you to try on an old PC. It is meant, and Google kind of pushes this as, turn your old computer that doesn't do anything anymore into a, um, you know, Chrome OS device, and uh, basically as a Chromebook. So, of course, a lot of people have been asking uh, questions since I've posted the videos about it. Um, and so, here's the thing. So, the questions, first question is about security. The security comes from simply keeping the update of Chrome OS Flex. So, that means that from time to time, what's going to happen is that the operating system is going to tell you there's an update. You just update it. Usually, the updates often match Chrome browser updates because everything is kind of tied together. Think about Chrome OS Flex as a um, operating system based on the Chrome browser. As simple as that. So the updates will keep you safe. There's no need for an antivirus or anything. It's, everything is, oh, is in there already for that. Um, second, some of you that are having problems, keep in mind this isn't finished. This is the first dev channel uh, b beta version if you want. This is a test version that they are just released. It's not the finished version. Chrome OS Flex will eventually have a stable version. And if you have problems now, it could be normal because there's a lot of things that are probably not yet uh, fixed. So as the different versions will be updated, there will be fixes, there will be new hardware added, there will be all sorts of things that are going to change. You can't install it now. Well, try later when there are new updated versions. Maybe at some point you'll be able to update and to install or to just run it. Uh, other question. Um, yes, you can run this without having to install it. So, and this is the beauty. It's like a Linux distro. Linux distros have all of, pretty much all like that also. You can install, you can just try them and boot from a USB thumb drive. And if you like it, then you install it if you want. So it doesn't destroy anything on the hard drive. Just make sure that you choose the correct option, which is to try it and not to install it. And um, basically, it will run. It will run slower if you try it from a USB thumb drive than if you do install it. But you'll have an idea if it works. And it, it's actually going to tell you and show you if it works. If you can boot from the USB thumb drive, it works fine. You can do everything then that means if you install it, it should work fine. Hardware. A lot of you have been asking me, yeah, but what about the hardware? Um, how old hardware can I install this on? Um, typically, it is requiring only a 64-bit processor. That means that, uh, you know, for the minimum requirements, uh, the fact that it requires at least 4 gigabytes of RAM, um, that means that you could technically run this thing on a very old PC. And so um, I've seen a couple of examples of 10, even 11, 12-year-old PCs running Chrome OS Flex, actually. So that means you can actually convert probably one of the old computers you have into a Chromebook. Uh, what about expiration date? Well, the difference between this and a Chromebook is that Chromebooks do have expiration dates, and it often has to do with hardware, because like Windows, like any other operating system, this gets more and more powerful over time, meaning at some point you have to cut off the hardware. So in general, what happens on Chromebooks is the date of ex the expiration date goes with the fact that your PC might be, for example, if you have a very cheap Chromebook that's uh, very low on P on resource because you didn't pay a lot of money on it, it will typically be one that will expire before more expensive ones. Now, um, why is there a expiration date that 
um, you know, it, it's like Windows 11. There's a debate on that and could be that, um, you know, um, Google wants to kind of make PC makers sell Chromebooks and, and you know, um, I get the drift and, and I get the fact that uh, maybe it shouldn't expire as soon or, or expire at all or at least until the hardware really is uh, not capable anymore. But in the, in the case of Chrome OS Flex, because it's updated all the time, there doesn't seem to be, or we're going to see when the real stable version gets out, but it's like there's kind of no real requirement of expiration date. And this brings us to another thing, because I've had a few questions about what about running Chrome OS Flex on a Chromebook that expires? Technically, if the Chromebook is based on a 64-bit processor, uh, that is an Intel, for example, and has 4 gigabytes of RAM, there's kind of no reason why Chrome OS Flex shouldn't run on it, honestly. Uh, so technically, it could be a way to extend even Chromebooks. So we're going to see. That's kind of interesting. But it's a very interesting question indeed. And uh, actually, what I should do is probably try the USB thumb drive I have here and see if I can boot on Chrome OS Flex on my Chromebook that I have here. Um, that would actually mean that you might actually be able to extend a, an expiration date of a Chromebook and, and push that to Chrome OS Flex. Uh, questions about the Google Play Store and all of that. Yeah, that is a great a big limitation for a lot of people. The fact that the Google Play Store is not there um, and apps cannot be uh, downloaded from that uh, for those that are more power users. See a lot of people saying, well, you know, I don't understand why people would have this. You can't do anything. The thing is, is this is not for everybody. This is for people. This, this, it's not for everybody, but it's for the majority of people. And what I mean by that is the majority of people using a PC do pretty much nothing with it. What I mean is they go on the internet, they check email. You know, they might be using a couple of office things like, you know, trying to uh, use, use a uh, word processor and stuff like that. Well, this covers it. All, it's all there. And that's it. And that is, for the majority of people, the only thing they need and the only thing they do. So, um, you know, you got to make a difference between a power user that wants to do a lot of stuff. And yes, this is too limited for that. From a, um, from a lot of users that typically don't need more than just internet and email for the most of what they do. So Chromebooks are, are good for that. Chromebooks are popular on a certain category of people for that. Okay, nothing, nothing else than just having internet and, and email and, you know, like I said, a few basic things, playing videos and that's it. This covers it all. And yes, it would be fun to have the Google Play Store. I do agree with all of you with that. Will it happen? That's the question. We're not sure um, what Google will do at some point. But let's hope that it would be there. That would be kind of cool to have the Google Play Store. Absolutely. Uh, concerning uh, battery life and all of that, I actually did a test this weekend. I uh, My laptop has a brand new battery, so uh, my 8-year-old laptop. And so um, I know that in Windows 10, battery life was barely two hours on that 8-year-old um, Toshiba PC. Um, you know, two hours was like really, really a stretch. This weekend I tried it with the Chrome OS Flex and it gave me about three and a half hours, which means if you have a good battery on an old laptop, you are getting more battery life on Chrome OS Flex, definitely. And this might even increase over time as they tweak the system. So, you know, all of that is uh, to think about. Uh... For the rest, um, of course, you can install it on a PC if you want to install it, but you can try it, and you need an 8 gigabyte thumb drive for that. It will erase the thumb drive. Just keep that in mind. It's very important. Where to download, how to install. Um, this is covered already in the video, but I will actually post the link again 
to the instructions from Google. Just follow Google instructions and you will make a USB thumb drive that you can use to boot the system. It works by using the Google Chrome browser, installing an extension, and that extension, what it's going to do is going to create a recovery drive that is technically made for Chromebooks. But instead of choosing a Chromebook um, or a, a Chromebook um, version, you will actually be simply uh, getting Chrome OS Flex instead. For all of those saying, well, you know, Linux is better than this, that's power user talk. And for most people, Linux is useless and not interesting. Um, people that don't get this are in their little world of Linux and they don't get that the majority of people don't need Linux and won't use Linux. Just like people um, use nothing pretty much. A lot of people, most people actually use pretty much nothing in Windows except go on the internet, do email, and watch videos. That's why a Chromebook is okay. But the other saying, well, that is Linux. It's Linux, but it's a Chromebook. Okay, it's different. It could be technically called a distro of Linux, but it's not because it doesn't act in the same way and it's a cloud operating system where Linux is not. So um, you can get all sorts of things. You can, you know, tweak. You can say, well, there are, you know, light versions of Linux that would be better. Not for the average person. And that is um, something that Linux users don't understand because they are more power users than the average user. Anybody using Linux is a power user. It's very simple. And that is not what the majority of people are. It's a very, very uh, different world. Um, and so the uh, <laughs> I've got a lot of comments about people saying, well, you're bashing Linux. I'm not bashing Linux. I'm just saying that it's useless for the majority of people. And that will always be the case. And the reason Windows is still the majority is because for that little thing they need to do, Windows is needed. And it's the majority anyways is business. And so that's the thing. And what I even say here, because I say it again when I talk about Chrome OS Flex, is that that is enough for the majority of people because they do nothing on their PC. So, you know, for those people, you could say Windows is useless and Linux is useless. It's just full of other things that they don't use and they don't want and they will never want. It's always in that spirit that I talk about um, how users are. As a tech guy, I know what people do on their PCs. Nothing. They're really basic. 80%, 90% are in the basic use of a PC. That's why sometimes I hear some tech guys saying, well, you know, why people are using Windows? Yeah, it is a good question. It is because it is the way that the market went and the way that PCs are sold. Because honestly, uh, people do not use the power of Windows. So that's why Linux is not better and not more interesting. They won't use the power of any Linux distro. It's not a question of, uh, of, of being bad or not. It's a question of what people do and need. And Chromebooks and Chrome OS Flex reaches that need, meaning it is a minimal system that for power users, yes, it's useless because they want to do more. But for the majority of people, it's simply what they will use and need because it does what they want. It's a, you know, it's, it's a debate that will always be a debate, but uh, that also explains why Linux has never gained any momentum at any time. It is still at the same percentage of market share now that it was 10 years and 20 years and 25 years ago and never gained any popularity. Linux users are like Mac users, they're a, a specific gang of people. Mac users are a specific gang of people. And Windows users are a specific gang of people that use Windows, and that's it. It's like three things, and um, there's no uh, there's no truth in, well, I'm, you know, I'm going to move to that or that system, or I'm tired of Windows, I'm going to a Mac or whatever. There's never been a, um, for, for Mac also, there's never been a push to Mac because of Windows. 
it doesn't work like that. And it really has to do with the fact that most people don't do much. So they don't really care as long as it works. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.